Good morning, Hornets, and welcome back to VTHS. I hope everyone had a good spring break. We're your hosts, Howell. And I'm Charlie. Let's start out with today's lunch. Today you will be enjoying chicken nuggets, mashed potatoes, and gravy. Green beans, breadsticks, cinnamon apples, and a cold milk. The only thing that's missing is dessert. Let's take a look at some of your favorite ice cream flavors. I'm Katrina. I pick Ben & Jerry's. Brahms. Hi, I'm Madeline Lear, and my favorite ice cream flavor is probably strawberry. Now let's jump in into today's celebrations with these holidays. Now I run down your top five news stories. It's Quinn and Jasmine in the morning with your top five news stories. Number one, U.S. Supreme Court will allow Trump to be on primary ballots. Number two, Malaysia may renew hunt for missing flight MH370. Number three, Caitlin Clark surpasses Pete Maravich for most career points in D1 history. Number four, federal safety officials say Boeing fails to meet quality control standards in manufacturing. And number five, Stingray Cove set to reopen at the Cedric County Zoo. Next, here is today's word and quote of the day. This week's word of the week is impetuous. Acting or done quickly and without thought or care. Do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. Ralph Waldo Emerson. And now let's take, and now it's back. Let's see who's in today's hot seat. Office space. Specifically. Specifically. Miss Reese. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is a black hole? Oh, <laughs> I know nothing about space. Um, it is nothing. That it, it, There is nothing. It's a point in the universe where there is just nothing. Um, yeah, that's all I got. Why do we dream? Why do we dream? It's your brain's way of like releasing some of the tension from your day and it just gives it a chance to kind of, it's almost like playing for your brain. How far away is the sun? <laughs> Like, like so far. It's so far away. <laughs> I have no idea. How are rainbows made? Oh, I do know this one. Okay, so there's hydrogen. Um, in the, uh, in the, uh, and they um, absorb all the other colors of light. Um, except the blue. So they, oh, that's why the sky's blue. Why rainbows made? Oh, water, clouds, water. And then they reflect through the water droplets in, this, in the atmosphere, and it makes a rainbow. Will we ever cure cancer? Cure cancer. I think there's just too many types of cancer, um, and it's too broad of a of a statement to say that we will cure it all. But we're getting we're getting there on a lot of them. I challenge Mr. Miller. Now let's take a look at today's temperature. Hi, my name is Hannah Miles. On the weather for today, the high is 61 and the low is 32. Now for a quick blast to the past, let's wrap up with this day in history. Stay classy, VC. <laughs> March 18, 1965. Alexei Leonov becomes the first person to walk in space. The cosmonaut from what's then the Soviet Union leaves his Voskhod 2 capsule secured by a tether. Astronaut Ed White makes the first American spacewalk months later. 1922. In India, Mahatma Gandhi is sentenced to prison for civil disobedience. It's part of his long struggle for Indian independence from British colonial rule. Gandhi is released after serving two years behind bars. 1940, Nazi Germany's Adolf Hitler and Italy's Benito Mussolini meet at the Brenner Pass in the Alps bordering Austria and Italy. That's where Mussolini agrees that his country will enter World War II on Germany's side and against Britain and France. 2005, doctors in Florida, acting on a state judge's order, removed the feeding tube of brain-damaged Terry Schiavo. George Philos is the attorney for Terry's husband, Michael, who fought with Schiavo's parents in court over removing the tube. It was an uh, emotional uh, occasion. Uh, prayers were said uh, at the time. Shivo dies 13 days later. In 2001. California, musician John Phillips of the 60s group The Mamas and the Papas dies in Los Angeles. He was 65. Today in history, March 18th. Sandy Cozell, The Associated Press.